Hey, we're back from the Welcome back to Anthem, where last we left off, we were helping a sentinel named uh, Dax, who was apparently royalty, do something or other. I thought we were trying to solve the mystery of people vanishing in the Emerald Abyss. We are. Then why am I in a creepy cave looking for a cipher link? Because the signal directed us here, and... No, I mean, how is this link connected to the Emerald Abyss? Oh, it has intel on it. Oh, what intel? Important intel. <laughs> Dax! Look, if I had all the answers, it wouldn't be a mystery. <sighs> what the hell? Damn it! Where the hell are they? The is bothering the Alphas. Ooh! Earth is pretty nasty. Tell me about it. Hey, let's shoot him. Okay, oh. Okay, one. I wasn't expecting you. Uh, did someone go shoot me just now? I think what I think what
Okay, where'd you go? near me? to switch it before I went on this mission, but um, yeah, that didn't happen. Okay. What was that? The belly of the beast. Please, Dax. Sorry. Couldn't resist. Oh, snap. Where'd you come from? Oh, snap. There's two of them. I had a long time dealing with one. Oh, this is crap. These things move fast, too. other one while I'm shooting one of them. There's the other one. 
Alright, cool. Oh, there. Okay. I kind of didn't pay attention to the second one. You're not the one I want to Not the one I'm after. Where's the other one? Where's the one with the lower health? Oh my god, where's the other one? He keeps running away. I'm gonna try to keep my distance from these two things. No, you're not the one. I want to eliminate one of them. Oh my god, where did he go? Where did the thing stay?
Not you. Where's the other one? Where's thing one? There we go. Wait, what is that? A legendary. Okay, I can't move. Jumps right over the dang mine.
Okay, oh, my eyes are up. Intel and send it to Dax. Beautiful. We can discuss back at Fort Tarsus. Well, that's two episodes down. I did that one day. Okay. Some nine minutes. I guess I'm talking to some people who are in this. Oh my God, that was. I had to fight four of these things. Uh, I just went in this one just to pad that runtime right now. I only have like nine minutes, and I'm not sure if I want to talk to the people to uh, uh, excuse the nine minutes. It's my revenue in and outside my apartment, which I don't like. Uh, I'm at 20. There's a lot of okay, I have pistols. Dude, come on, not the time. I'm sorry if y'all hear that. I'll try to cut that out if I can. I don't know what any of this is. I don't use shotgun. I don't think I use rifle. I got a legendary pistol. My first legendary is a pistol. You guys know who that's going on. Uh, I'm not gonna get rid of any of this other stuff. It's not a shotgun. Okay. All right. Fort Tarsus. Okay, back in Fort. Let me see Brianna, if I talk to this. I sent the links intel to Dax. She's waiting for you at her apartment. Wait, there are apartments here? Okay. I'm gonna talk to like two people real quick. Okay. Mom being a woman right here. Oh, God. Hi, my brother. How are you? I don't know. I went looking for your father's ashes so we could spread them. They weren't there. Doesn't mean we can't still have a memorial for him. It's the strangest thing. 
The vase was gone. Someone must have stolen it. I'm sure it will turn up. I hope so. As your father. It's all I have left of him. And yet... Is something wrong? Remembering your dad. Something about all this doesn't feel right. This may sound weird, but I need you to trust me. This could be a good sign. That I have a knack for losing stuff? That you're realizing, well, what you thought was true isn't. The vase? Why is it so important? Your dad, of course. He died. But I already knew that. How did he die? A broken heart. Losing you. But what does that mean? What do you think? You were our son. That day when you... No, please. This is important. How did you lose me? There's a memory. You were hurt. I know it hurts, but I think you're in denial. Remembering what really happened could help. I don't know if I can do this. You can. You're strong. What happened? It was... a warm day. Fremark was hot that time of year. You were playing with your father, pretending you were a javelin pilot. He was roaring like an ursix, chasing you. You were so young, your little legs scampering around, so happy. But then... It's okay. The sirens started. Gunfire was everywhere. Someone shouted, the Dominion are here. Then the explosions... I heard you scream. Ran over. Your father was bleeding, but you... You were under the rubble. Piles of concrete. I tried lifting it, but it was too heavy. You were yelling. Daddy's hurt. Help Daddy. I pulled him away. Then there was another explosion. The rubble collapsed. But you... You... You can do this. You... died. My brave little boy. You were supposed to grow up and be a freelancer. Fall in love. Become a man. But you never did. Because I couldn't save you. Can you ever forgive me? You don't even have to ask. It was never your fault. I've wanted so badly to say I'm sorry. But you were gone. I forgive you. That... That means more than you can know. I have a pretty good idea. Your father... He died the next day. They took him away. I never got to bury him. Either of you. But... How can this be? How are you here, all grown up? Can... Can the anthem really do that? Kyla, what's happening? Hmm. I'm not Kyler. You thought I was, but I'm just a friend trying to help. A friend? But you said you followed your dream. There was no better job in the world. That Dad would want us to spread his ashes together. All those adventures you had, the incredible things you'd seen. The anthem worked a miracle. It saved you. None of that was true. Wait, uh, wait, hold on. Parts of those, uh, part of that, a good bit of that was true. No, but I didn't want to hurt you. You were clinging to hope. It seemed like you wanted to believe it. I tried telling you. Yes. I suppose you did. I couldn't believe it. I'm sorry. <laughs> but when hope suddenly evaporates, there's a... hole. It will take some time to figure all this out. Of course. Be well. Well... Wait, my freedom so he just got the two? While my sentinel one is at... What, three? Okay, do I actually have to listen to this dude? Laundry's like life. If you ever get it all sorted out, then let me know. Hey! I learned something about a certain someone that I believe may be of interest to you. I doubt it. 
Yeah, right. Brace yourself, because this is gonna hit you pretty hard. Sentinel Dax is actually a princess. Everyone in the fort knows that. Really? Yes, it's common knowledge. Oh, well, it's still pretty interesting, though, right? It was the first 50 times I heard it. Okay, I hear you. But you're still gonna come to me for all your inside information, right? I never did. So, nothing's changed for this? No. Whew. Good, okay. So, hey, do you wanna go for a bite or something? Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, mm. Nope. I get it. Next time, I swear I'm gonna be a better friend. I will always be your friend. I'm not sure what this dude's deal did. Okay, who else do I have to talk to? I'm gonna talk to the wife. Okay. Nadira? Freelancer. My husband Leighton mentioned you saw him again. We spoke. He told me about his past, what he did for the Dominion. Pretty bad, I'm guessing. It was, but he regrets all the pain he caused. He still feels it. I don't know how to make it go away. He talked about someone named Aurora. I think it's a woman he knew. Something bad happened to her. Aurora? That rings a bell? I've seen the name. A briefing on an old Dominion operation. Details were sketchy. I'm trying to remember. I think it was called Prism Tacit. That was their code name for it. Do you think Leighton was involved? He must have been. But if I ask him, it'll get messy. I'm his wife now, not his debriefing agent. There's too much emotion involved. That just means you care. Leighton's lucky he found you. <laughs> Who knew spying was the easy part? His marriage that takes training. Can't help you there. You've already done more than you had to. I appreciate it. We both do. When I see Leighton again, I'll ask him about this prism tacit. Thank you. Oh, crap. I don't like that. That seems like a cool word that uh, wakes up a sleeping agent. Wait, hold on. Does that open a whole new... See them scurrying about, selling their wares, worrying about the weather. Okay. Creepy. Creepy. So, this is all weirdly new and very junky. What? Hold up. What? That could not be my time. Like, I'm going to talk to this woman and that's going to end the episode, guy. Uh, what the? She isn't gonna shoot me by accident, is she? Okay, please don't hate me, but that link, the one you got elbow deep in her 6 4? More like wrist deep, but yeah, it didn't have all the intel I needed. <sighs> Again? But you said. I know, I know, I messed up. Remember my aunt's journal? The one that proves there's a connection between the Heart of Rage and the Emerald Abyss? Yeah. It was stolen. What? When? Like, two months ago. Why didn't you say so? Because I thought we could steal the information back without facing the thieves head on. The outlaws in the cave. They're the ones who took the journal. Sort of. They work for the guy who took it. A jerk named Talon. How did this happen? Minor details. What's done is done. We just gotta keep moving forward. Okay. What's our next move? We ambush Talon and steal back the journal. And you'll show up this time? You make me sound so flaky. Of course I'll be there. Okay. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. I wanna thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, comment on the video. If you wanna join the Wolfpack, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And also be sure you can always hit me up on Twitter, Reddit, or here on YouTube. I want to thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you next time on Anthem. Later, Wolfpack.